Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Clara Audience Truth Speaker. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I go by the name of Q, and I welcome any of you beautiful souls that may be new to the channel. And peace, love, and light to all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. Thank you all for showing love. Thank you all for just, you know, really uh, tuning in. I hope that you all have been appreciating the daily uploads. Um, that is something new that I wanted to start implementing just to, you know, just to give y'all what y'all have been waiting for for so long. Um, I thank you all so much for being here. Uh, to anyone that may be new, welcome to the channel. My name is Q, as I said, I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also a clear audience. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I listen to music and the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on this clock here. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all blends very beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if the reading doesn't apply just let it fly by never force anything to be your story be mindful to check your natal chart see what your other placements may be and check those readings in correspondence to those signs my readings are also timeless so whenever this video popped up in your feed whenever you felt compelled to click play whether by means of the title of the video the thumbnail maybe even the timestamp on the clock that was all divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloveds so without further ado we're going to tap right in we're going to proceed with the read but let's go ahead and do some house cleaning i shake i call upon the elements of water Fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ovatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So let's see what time we have on the Klizak. It is right now. Let me unlock my phone. So it is currently 1146. So that breaks down to three. Um, three. Uh, is associated with that empress that divine feminine energy even if you're a masculine you could be tapping in to your divine masculine energy uh three is also giving a sense of like you know i'm getting the 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 solar plexus so some of you all could really uh be you know really tapping into your uh inner power you know maybe there's a sense of maybe getting stronger strengthening yourself three 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 on the clock three is also as uh, associated with the ascended masters the angels and today is archangel mikael's feast day so this would be a perfect day for you beautiful souls to really um pay homage to archangel michael if you have um, you know, a church or a shrine in your area. I know there's one in Florida, um, you know, but just going to a St. Michael, uh, you know, uh, church or, uh, you know, um, shrine, it would be a good way to pay homage. You could lay down flowers like candles, um, even in your own homes. But today is a very powerful day. And not to mention, it's also the full moon. Um, so powerful energy, a powerful surge of energy is what I'm picking up. The three, the solar plexus really deals with your, your self-confidence. Um, it deals with you know, your courage, your strength, as I said, that is the solar plexus, which is like your, the sun that shines within you. So some of you could be braving your light 
um, in certain areas of your life. Um, I'm also getting a sense of some of you could be healing. Perhaps there's some healing that's taking place. Maybe you have fallen under the weather. I know the weather has changed here in North Carolina and a lot of people have been falling under the weather. And maybe now you're strengthening yourself. So that's about the vitality, um, your vitality, your strength. Um, but I'm also getting a sense of maybe there is a sense of like, you know, planning uh, and preparing something. Um, we are coming into Libra season. Uh, we're actually in Libra season, but we're coming into our season, Scorpio season. Um, it is autumn, so things start to change. You start seeing, you know, the leaves changing colors, which lets you know that there is, you know, a change of season. And perhaps there is, you know, some plans that you're making for the upcoming holy days, or maybe there's some plans you're making for your upcoming solar returns. Uh, so you could be planning a trip. You could be kind of like figuring out you know, how things are going to work in terms of your money or, you know, maybe you're saving up your money. Maybe you're, you know, preparing something. Um, but that's what I'm picking up with that number three. Um, what we have playing on the playlist is we have, uh, this is Styles P. He's from the locks. And then we have a uh, Pharaoh Monch. This is called the life. So definitely some of you all could really be like really, um, you know, just fine tuning some things in your life. You know, whenever you start entering into your, your season, uh, especially as Scorpios or whenever anyone, you know, starts to go into their, uh, you know, their birth month or, you know, their season, um, there is a lot of reflection um, that, you know, looking back on your life, looking back on some of, you know, the things that you've been through or have grown through or even planning what you may want to do in the, you know, upcoming years. You know, so there is a strong, you know, emphasis of just, you know, kind of like observation, um, observing or evaluating things. As I said, that three really to me, uh, I think of like the three of wands, you know, something that's manifesting or materializing um, after you've planned, prepared and strategized. So it's like you have already, you've already put that intention into it and you're expecting something positive to, you know, turn out. So it's really beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. And that three, like I said, does deal with the Empress, who is um, a very powerful and very attractive energy. Uh, so this is how you may be seen. Others may see you in that light. They may see you as someone wise, nurturing, uh, caring, uh, someone who's a provider if you're masculine, provider who's who's very devoted, who's uh, very protective, loving, loyal, um, just someone who master manifests their reality because that divine feminine and divine masculine knows their divinity is creation. So you could be birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking, birthing creative projects. Um, maybe you are preparing to give birth. Um, maybe that is something that some of you divine feminines um, are, you know, experiencing right now. Maybe you're having labor pains. Maybe you will be giving birth within the upcoming, you know, months and weeks. Um, you could be having giving birth to another Scorpio baby. Um, but, you know, that, that energy is really uh, one of creation. Uh, maybe you're just honing your skills. Maybe you're learning a new skill. Um, maybe you are going through some sort of, um, you know, like maybe there is, uh, you know, you're learning something uh, and maybe you're get, being initiated into a particular practice, um, you know, by, you know, an elder in that same field or by a master teacher in that field. So maybe you're being ushered into something or maybe you're getting a rites of passage. But that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say, beloved. So that three, like I said, divine feminine energy. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I can't make this up, all right? So look what we got on the bottom of the deck. After that whole diatribe, we got a number three, creativity. And look how beautiful and yellow and vibrant this color, this card is. So this is beautiful. As I just said, I went into a whole diatribe. We started the reading at 1146, which was three. And now we have a card that will 
also correspond to that number that we started off the reading. I love when spirit works like this. So this three, as I said, powerful energy. This speaks to self-mastery. This is a sunny, bright card, and yellow always deals with the solar plexus. That solar plexus speaks to vitality, strength, all of the aforementioned. Um, but this also shows self-mastery on your part. Whatever you've been doing, whatever work, it's like you are now illuminated. You are now enlightened, beloved. And you are enlightened, perhaps, about a lot of your gifts, about a lot of the things that that you are perhaps called to do, anointed to do. Uh, when I think of, you know, this bright card, I think of someone who's very self-aware, uh, but someone who's also very healing. This is a very healing color. When you think of the sun, the sun heals. It is food. It's a source of food for us. We need that sun to sustain, to survive here on this planet. And this sun is just showing, you know, not only are you exuding this light, or not only are you glowing and, and growing and, and, and just, you know, very wise and beautiful or attractive, but it's like others are drawn to you. It's like there is, a, you know, an adoration or a very strong attraction that you're drawing towards you. This is a beautiful energy. And I feel like, you know, creatively and artistically, um, you have tapped into your gifts. I, I was picking up you being initiated or you going through some sort of rites of passage. And this is confirming just that. We have Craig Mack um, flavor in your ear. Some of you all could be dealing with someone named Craig um, with flavor in your ear. I just feel like that's like, you know, good news. I feel like that's something positive that you all will be hearing. Um, that three, like I said, that, that to me always gives me the three of wands. And when you think of the three of wands in traditional tarot, there's like, you know, um, there's like a gentleman that's standing on a cliff and he's holding a staff. There's two staff behind him. Uh, but he's looking out into the ocean and there are, you know, boats that are docking that are coming in. So it's almost as if he was prepared. He was, he was already aware that these boats were coming in. Um, he anticipated it. Perhaps he manifested it. Maybe there was some form of communication that he sent out, sent out a kite, you know, and, and now it's docking. Today is the day or that day was the day to expect whatever it was, um, you know, that he had been manifesting. So I feel like it's a plan and prepare, strategize. It's a ready, set, go type of energy. So this three, like I said, that's your strength, your vitality. Um, this is also trusting what you feel in your gut to be true, you know, uh, your your stomach, your your gut is like your second brain, your first brain, however you want to say it, and it really is you know your connection to your intuition. So trusting your gut, using gumption, using that inner wisdom, is leading to something that's going to bring joy, happiness, peace, you know, protection, success. We have seventy four here uh, on the split. That seventy four breaks down to eleven. And that three, so that's two, that's five. So you've definitely have been learning and growing. Five is associated with the Hierophant. Uh, five also deals with the throat chakra. The throat chakra is your expression, your ability to express yourself, whether communicatively or artistically or creatively. And we could see here, perhaps, you know, you've been learning, you know, what your skill is. You've been learning perhaps by just trusting what you feel, you know, trusting that passion. Maybe you've had something that's been lying dormant, you know, with in you. I just saw 1313. 13. So something's transformed within you. Uh, maybe going through a certain transformation led to you discovering what your purpose is, what your passions are, and pursuing those things. With this 74 nature, I feel whatever it is you do creatively or artistically, it just comes a la natural. This is something that is just like, it's just second nature to you. It's just like you could just wake up and do this. Uh, perhaps you've been honing the skill so much that it's just, you've mastered it. Um, I also feel some of you could have been born in 1974. Some of you could have been born on um, November 11th, November 7th, November 4th, October 25th, um, November 3rd. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of some of you all also um, needing to go out in nature. You know, I feel like when you go out in nature, perhaps you get a lot of divine downloads, a lot of divine interventions. You may bump into a lot of beautiful, uh, mis you know, mystic animal totems. Um, you may also find feathers. I've been finding feathers all month 
in the month of September and August. I was just finding feathers. Every time I took a nature walk, they would be, and I wouldn't find one. I'd find about three or four or five. One day I found seven. It's just, you know, been beautiful. Um, maybe you're seeing the same uh, angel numbers. These these are our angels, our, our ancestors, our spirit team's way of communicating with us. So I feel like, you know, perhaps some of you, like I said, have come up with some really dope ideas or, you know, maybe you got a really... Uh, a powerful download out in nature um, I feel like you also with that number five because it is about institutions it could even speak to marriage um, but it's a, you know that five just shows maturation so you've really spent a lot of time some of you really made it your business to get out in nature uh, maybe that was your peace your salvation maybe that was a way for you to just unload to just get rid of the weight that the heaviness that you were carrying the burdens that you were carrying you know getting out in nature is a beautiful way to ground yourself maybe you're one of those people like myself who take your shoes off when you go out in nature and you take nature walks barefoot literally um, and you feel that surge you feel that power that powered you know you, you, you get powered up so to speak so that's very beautiful right now what we have is Pat Benatar we belong so some of you all could be bumping into your divine counterpart. Like I was saying, that five could also deal with institutions, marriage. So you can bump into, so these cards are trying to jump out of my hand and I'm going to let them. So you can be bumping into someone um, that could absolutely be uh, like your divine counterpart that can, you know, that relationship can develop into not, not only something special or serious, but something that could like eventually, you know, um, evolve into marriage, uh, into some sort of partnership. Um, but with that five, you know, that is really showing me, you know, cause I was getting rites of passage, passage and initiation. And that also is a rites of passage. Like when you come into any type of partnership, especially something sacred as uh, marriage, you know, or when you um, propose to someone, or when someone proposes to you and they, you know, want to go into union with you, that is a rites of passage to some degree as well. So that's beautiful. So what flew out is you have the number 11. So this 11 is uh, individuality. So many of you were in codependent relationships and that's a part of what you had to learn to break free from was codependent toxic relationships. You had to learn to lean on yourself. That's why that three was there as well because that's about your self-confidence, self-love. That's about your strength. That's your vitality. You got to know how strong you are and when you know how strong you are, then you could lean on your strength. You could depend on your strength and not lean on another person and be codependent on them because then that codependency can turn toxic because you're looking for them to fill voids that only you are to fulfill so with this individuality you've discovered that your independence is the foundation for your stability your security your overall happiness and I feel not only have you learned this lesson because this is a double number whenever I see double numbers I always feel this is you mirroring someone and someone mirroring you uh, that you're attracting and so this one is showing that you've gotten to the root cause of whatever may have been causing complications um, and confusion in your partnerships in your relationships your love ships your your business even uh, partnerships and you've learned to really lean on your own strength you've learned to be independent your independence is the foundation you know for your happiness for your security for your stability uh for your peace you know and so not only have you learned that lesson of self-love being you know very important but also you are bumping into someone who's also taking the time to do that internal work to also heal um so that's beautiful. And you also have 44 here. So this is associated with the heart chakra. So this heart chakra is showing that you've also been healing um, in the process of learning. You know, when you take onus and accountability and when you take that time to reflect, when you take that time to, you know, kind of recuperate from things that may not have gone in your favor or relationships that may have failed. Um, it's never a situation that you should, you know, uh, be a victim. You know, you should never take on that role of a victim uh, where someone did something to you it's it's really all teachable whatever we experience in life whatever we grow through in life are teachable moments and I feel like that's where this healing was able to take place because you took onus you took accountability you took responsibility perhaps for the things you may have allowed or the things that may have gone wrong you took onus for the part that you played in it because no one can do anything to you unless it's allowed and so this is just showing you know uh, taking 
taking that time to heal, taking that time to self-reflect, taking that time to discover that love is an inside job and no one should fill voids for you. This is you, you needing to, you know, really tap into that work. This is how you've been able to emotionally grow stronger uh, and more intelligent, you know? And so you're attracting someone in your likeness. You're attracting someone in your likeness because you've healed from any of those past pains, wounds, and traumas. You're not walking around as a victim. Victims attract other victims or they attract people that are going to victimize them. But when you are this solid, this is a solid, you know, um, green card as is this solid red card that shows that you're solid, that you're sturdy, that you're stronger. Um, which is another reason why that three, uh, opened up the reading because that's the epitome of self mastery that empress or even the emperor they embody the characteristics the attributes of all the queens all the kings so it's like you've mastered all of these different um you know all of these different um elements and it's really beautiful because now you can master manifest what you desire you know to set your intention you know how to tap into that alchemical force how to tap into that god frequency how to commune with your higher self with your angels your spirits your team so this is beautiful so what you have here is 85 and this says follow your dreams so that's exactly what you're doing now you're pursuing your dreams we have 11 which is 2 we have 44 which is 8 so that's 10 and then we have uh, 85 which is 13 that's 4 so what is that uh ooh, i just i just said it and i lost it that fast so what is this um 10 1 and four or five. So all of this is five. This breaks down to five. So someone is ready and prepared to communicate. I feel like you're also, um, I feel like you're just very busy. I just get a sense of like you are being, I'm hearing worker bee. I don't know if some of y'all are seeing bees. I just saw 2121 on the clock as well. That's three, three, that breaks down to six. So there's definitely a sense of like, um, cause six deals with the lovers. Six is also your first eye. So I do get a sense of like, it's like you're trusting what you feel in your spirit now. It's like you're using discernment with every decision. Everything that you do, it's like whether it comes, you know, it, whether it's related to business, whether it's related to love, whether it's related to your relationships, your friendships, even if it's about planning a trip, it's like you you don't do anything unless you feel right. It feels right in your spirit. Um, I get this five energy. So I'm, I'm strongly feeling like some of y'all have been really mastering your craft, like you have really been sharpening your sword and you've done so you've done it so much that it's like now you're pursuing whatever it is that you have been mastering it's like it's like this calling like I said if something was lying dormant it is it's like it's pulling you to take action because now you are ready to take that leap 20s oh wow that was beautiful so this is like you're ready to take that leap and go after what you want um how someone feels about you is you're absolutely a wish fulfillment and you know because this is your overall energy 11 so your independence is your foundation for your stability and security 44 is environment so someone you're attracting to you is absolutely someone you are familiar with it could be someone you've planted seeds and roots with whether it's an old friend an old co-worker it could be someone that you went to school with it could be someone you grew up with back in the day um, this could be someone that you are around now and you have no clue that they have these feelings they feel this connection is very natural a la natural they feel that you're earthy you're down to earth they feel you're a wish fulfillment this is another eight and this person could be kind of like you know mustering up the strength you know that eight always gives me you know that's the associated with the strength but it also gives me a sense of like the star i think of the star so this could be someone who's really trying to find balance you know come into you know emotional equilibrium to take action this is something that you're going to be shocked this is abrupt this will be someone that comes in abruptly unexpectedly or maybe this will feel like like, you know, you wasn't even looking for this and it just, boom, here it is. And, you know, it's going to feel, um, it's going to feel very, um, like you're going to welcome it, but it's still going, you're still being told to trust your intuition here as well. We have Rick James glow playing. 
This played in another reading too. So someone is very drawn to you. Remember I was saying with that yellow that we saw with the creativity, the empress, she's very attractive. You know, she doesn't have to work too hard. She knows her worth and value. So she don't have to do too much to get the attention. It's just the energy, the beauty, the confidence, the strength, the regalness, the royalty, the power she exudes. It's just, it, it, it just, it's like the aura, your auric field is just very attractive. It's very attractive and it's very alluring and you are garnering a lot of attention right now so with this four and this um this five here that this all breaks down to i definitely feel like um there's some unexpected communication and in this communication you may be very shocked to find that someone confesses or expresses uh that they love you or maybe if this is not in relation to love someone may you know just say that they want to go into business partnership with you or someone may you know confess that they um they really want to support your dream you know, maybe they want to rally behind you. Maybe they want to fund, you know, your business. Maybe this is someone that wants to distribute. Someone wants to endorse you in some way. But this is someone that absolutely believes in you. They, they see you glowing. They may see you in the limelight. This may be someone that follows you right now. If you have social media or if you have um, your own business already, it's like someone is definitely uh, admiring you from a distance here. And you're going to get some sort of positive uh, feedback, you know, this is positive feedback. This is recognition. This is, like I said, coming into partnership with someone. What we have on the bottom of the deck is 71 health, and we're about to pull the card for what's hidden in the energy. So with the 71 health, I definitely feel some of you all, as I was picking up earlier, could be recovering, um, from being under the weather. Um, you know, maybe some of you all have, you know, I know like myself, as I've shared with you all, you know, I'm just recovering from, um, you know, that nasty virus COVID. Um, and, you know, I'm strengthening, you know, slowly but surely I'm getting back, back my sense of taste and smell. And, you know, so it's like, you know, maybe some of you all, that's what you're doing right now is you're really just focusing on recovery and healing. Um, I also get a sense like, you know, I always associate the 71 with the eight of swords. Um, and it's eight, eight on the clock right now, 26, 26, that breaks down to Eight, uh, 16 and that's seven so if you are up in your head a lot stressing and agonizing ruminating and pining over things that you have no control over please stop uh, because that's only going to stress you out it's only going to you know um, take you down a rabbit hole and in order for you to come out of that that mental funk um, you need to change your surroundings you know change the scenery um, get in the car take a drive go somewhere park and get out and walk you know be around the trees if you have a trail they have trails everywhere here in North Carolina so that's what I do I like to just go outside and, and, and get some fresh air uh, because the four walls will start caving in on you start getting cabin fever if all you do is sit up in the crib um, so it's very necessary to get out of the house because that allows you to get out of your head if you are in the house perhaps you need to clean your homes um, you know perhaps there's some decluttering that needs to take place we're coming into the you know the the um, winter season so maybe you need to start doing some feng shui and, you know shift the energy a little bit uh, if your room has been the same way since 1975 it's time to sh shift the energy you know um get rid of things you know if you are still laying on a mattress that you had when you was in a toxic relationship throw that ish away and go buy you another one um but there's cleaning there's some cleaning and some clearing i feel you all need to do uh because your home is representative of your mind you know the space that you live in is very representative of the mind so if you've got a lot of clutter if you're hoarding if you've got things that you know you're not going to use you've been holding on to you know clothing that you haven't been able to fit into for 20 years talking about well i'm gonna lose some weight and i'll be able to get back into this stop lying to yourself because you would have did it 20 years ago just get rid of it you know donate it give it to someone that needs it don't hoard it um but you know if your mind is is you know cloudy uh definitely get outside you know it's time to go outside it's time to get back out into nature but i also associate this with if you are under the weather if you're not feeling very well you're definitely getting stronger you know because this eight does deal with the strength card and rick james is still um singing glow so i do feel like you you know you will be getting your um you know, you'll be getting, even some of you, you may have lost like your color. You know, when you get sick, you start looking like pale. So some of you now may be, you know, starting to get your color back, that pigmentation back. 
um, you know, some of y'all are glowing. You know, I was picking up on someone who could be pregnant with child. So, you know, your skin gets to glowing. You start looking all beautiful. You know, um, many of you, that is just what you are looking. You're, you're glowing. You're growing. You're beautiful. As I said, glowing and growing. There goes that three again, the creativity card, that yellow. So beautiful energy. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpio. So spirit chose these cards for you. Um, and it was three of them, so I just put them in their appropriate spots. So there, your overall energy is that 11, individuality, you know, who or what you're attracting is 44, environment. It's right in your environment. It's right in your energetic field, you know, how someone feels about you, who or what you're attracting to you. So this card is jumping out of my hand, and I'm going to take it. And this is 16, Rebirth. How they feel about you is follow your dreams. So somebody's taking action, you know ready to bust a dope move. And I didn't mention that that 13, you know, like I was saying earlier, because remember I saw 13, 13, and I was saying how you've transformed. So that's just, this is how they perceive you as someone who's really transformed, reinvented yourself, you've grown wiser, you've grown stronger, you're more in harmony, mind, body, and soul, just beautiful, you know, and this 13 breaks down to four. So there's a divine masculine that has their eye on you, even if it's a feminine that has an eye on a divine masculine. But what's hidden is 16 rebirth. This card flew out in a form of reading. So this is definitely, again, you know, just veggie backing off what I said about someone really seeing that you've transformed, you've gone through some sort of major change, enormous change. You are no longer the same person, and that is a positive. No one should be the same anything. You should not be the same person you were in, nine, you know, when you was in high school today, you know, and you're 45 years old. You know, that that is not, you know, you can still keep your youth, you know, you can still be youthful and fun and you don't have to turn into some old grumpy man or woman, but you definitely should not be the same person because you're supposed to, the goal is to change daily. You know, the goal is to grow, you know, whatever isn't growing, it's dead period. So someone definitely sees that you have gone through some major changes. You've transformed. You've been through a startling metamorphosis or two or three. Um, and this also could speak to someone, um, you know, that you're attracting that could be growing through some sort of startling metamorphosis. You know, that is a journey in and of itself, but this is a beautiful energy of resurgence, you know, um, of emergence, you know, emerging someone new, emerging someone, uh, stronger, as I said, with the 16, that just shows personal growth, you know, that shows resilience to me. Um, and that shows wise dome, you know, reaching that, that wise dome turning, you know, this, that's the wisdom is, you know, the application of knowledge becomes wisdom, you know, and that's what this shows me that there's been an application of all the things that you've been learning and you applying what you've learned and getting to that space of wise dome. So you're wiser now, you're stronger now. And this has been something that you had to, um, you know, you've been on, you've been embarking on this, this soul journey, the spiritual journey, and you've achieved this level of self mastery. And this is a very powerful energy. We got 27 spiritual partnership on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull the card for your um, outcome. And we have midnight star curious. So you have someone that is very curious about you. You know, this is someone that's curious, someone that's like, you know, they're, they're attracted to you, drawn to you. Someone that feels a spiritual connection to you as well, bond. Someone that feels that you are very mysterious. Um, there's just something that, you know, you intrigue this person. I also feel like they feel some sort of chemistry, you know. There's like a tie, a soul tie or soul connection or they feel this sense of harmony around you. They feel like, you know, because I was picking up even earlier with that uh, natural or nature card that, you know, you could be bumping into someone where you'll have like this natural bond connection, you know, when you communicate with this person or you guys have that first conversation, perhaps that conversation is just going to be so stimulating or you'll find in that conversation you have so much in common, a lot of similarities, commonalities, um, but this is a like-minded individual individual. Um, and with curious, you know, this person will pique your interest and in you theirs. Uh, three, 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 this could be a sacred connection as well, especially with that spiritual partnership. This could be one that your angels, you know, cause remember we saw three, three, three earlier in the reading and I 
expressed that that is, you know, the number three is associated with the ascended masters. So you could have your angels, your team conspiring behind the team, uh, the scenes to bring you into alignment uh, with midnight star. You know, that star is definitely speaking to a wish fulfillment. So something that you could have been praying for, hoping for, asking for, meditating daily, <laughs> writing in your meditation journals. You could have been doing rituals, spells. You know, you've been calling this in. And during this full moon, you may get the answer to that call. You may get the answer to that prayer. That wish may be fulfilled because I was picking up on a wish fulfillment as well. And then you also had follow your dreams. So whatever you're calling in is definitely uh, coming. You know, you could be the master manifester um, or someone could be manifesting you. Either way, uh, there is an answer coming, you know. Um, so let's tap in. So why, uh, what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got 22 intuition. And remember, I did tell you all, trust your intuition always. We have Maxwell something, something. So the outcome is something beautiful, I feel, is coming. Um, this is from one of my favorite movies, Love Jones. So someone is definitely going to be jonesing. I'm hearing that D'Angelo song. song. Said I got a jones in my bones. Someone could be from Virginia. Someone could be dealing with someone named D'Angelo. And this jones that I'm on. Won't leave me long. That's what I'm hearing in my mind's so my mind's eye. So someone is definitely jonesing on you already. So you may have a secret admirer, but this is what they see when they see you. The outcome is self love. And remember what I was talking about earlier about you know the importance of you know loving yourself. When you love yourself, you attract what you are. You attract someone that is a going that's going to come in and and and. You know, they're going to treat you the way they see you treating yourself. Self-love is always more attractive. So you are absolutely, this is what you've learned to do, grown to do. This is what you're doing now. That's what this individuality taught you, you know, that you can do good by yourself. You don't always need to be in a partnership, especially if it's not healthy. And when you were by yourself, like I said, that's where you learned to be more self-sufficient, you know, more self-reliant, you know, more confident more independent. Your independence is always, um, you know, the foundation you want to stand on that allows you to stand direct. Always No, someone you were born alone, you're going to die alone. So you always got to be able to stand erect and stand perpendicular in your, your square solely first and foremost. You know, it's beautiful when you get a partner that comes in and they hold you up and you hold them up, but you have to do that on your own first. So this is very beautiful to see that the 61, the outcome, that self-love, this is what's making you so attractive. This is why you're glowing and ished, you know, this is why your aura is just so like, it's like just pulling folks in. You're just attractive, you know, and we have 81 leadership. So this on top of self-love, that ish is a beautiful, you got leadership, you know, so that's showing that you are not taking no shorts. You're in your power. You're not playing around. You're someone that others look to. You know, you're the type of person that teaches others. You're a teacher, you're a healer, you're a shaman, you're a light worker. You're someone that is definitely, um, you know, a source of inspiration to others. You're helping other people awaken, perhaps. If you have your own platforms, if you have, you know, your own business, it's like you, you would be amazed at the amount of people that you inspire. You know, so this leadership role isn't one to take lightly because when you are leading others, you don't want to lead them to damnation. You want to lead them into, you know, their own power to, to the, you know, leaders lead, you know, leaders don't, you know, uh, train people to follow them forever. It's like when you are a leader, you are leading people to their greatness. So you have to, and I feel that's what you're doing because self-love is your foundation here. So because you love yourself, you're not operating in a space of um, <clears throat> inferiority or, um, you know, you're not operating in a space of where you don't want someone to take your spot or you're not even worried about that because you know no one can take your spot. Your spot's yours. So it's like, it's, it's just I, what I'm getting is beautiful. It's like this, this is how you've reinvented yourself. It's like you've reinvented yourself to take lead you know, to take control, to be in power, to be in your own power as well. You know, I love this. This is dope. Oh man. 22 intuition, always trust your gumption. I feel you're also attracting someone, 
divine masculine, you know, who's very in tune, tapped in, you know, twos deal with the high, uh, high priestess and the high priest, you know, so definitely you obtain and have access to ancient wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and whomever you're attracting to you does as well. Um, I definitely get a sense of, as I said, you know, you're dealing with someone or attracting someone that's made in your likeness because you've done a lot of soul work because you're spiritual. You're going to attract someone that's going to complement that. That's going to accentuate that as well. Um, what's underneath that new beginnings. So this is beautiful. So this one, so this is one in 22, that's five. So definitely maturation. These are both, um, showing that there's something beautiful, something exciting, there's a powerful change that's taking place in your life, positive. And whoever this divine masculine is, this is someone that's very attracted to you, very passionate. They got fire, desire. You know, there goes that spiritual career that I was picking up on. And I see this 9-9 compassion. So not judging. I feel like Scorpios, you guys are very, you know, because of what you've endured, you could have. And my throat is getting blocked. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you could be, you know, dealing with someone who may have some difficulty expressing themselves, but I feel it's breaking up. You know, I feel like it's breaking up, like whatever is blocking this person is slowly, they're slowly but surely getting out of their way. Because remember, I was picking up like with this 44, eight, I was picking up that, you know, something is going to come in unexpectedly. It's going to be shocking. You know, perhaps this is someone you're already familiar with and know. And you're, you're just going to be shocked because you didn't realize this person, you know, held these feelings or felt this way about you or had these sentiments towards you. We have Capadonna. Uh, Capadonna, this is called Milk the Cow. So with that Milk the Cow, uh, what I'm hearing is that saying, you know how they say, um, uh, what, is, what is that saying about, you know, what is it? Buy the cow. Why buy the cow when you can? What is it? What is that saying? That's what I'm hearing. So maybe that's what somebody went through. It's the same about like, why buy the cow when you could get the milk for free? Thank you, spirit. I knew it was going to come to me. But with, so that's what I'm getting. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that saying. So maybe this is someone who could have been a player in the past. Cause that's what, that's, that's the sentiment of someone who is like, they're not trying to commit. So maybe they was non-committal. Maybe there was someone that liked to be a player, player from the Himalaya. And maybe you've changed something within a person, you know, or maybe this was who you was. Maybe you are, a, a, you know, a Scorpio male who was just, you was fine too, you know, you was too cute for your own britches, you know, and you, you was just kind of playing the field you know, soiling your royal oats, so to speak. And, um, but now it's like, maybe you're now really, um, looking to, um, to really settle down and not settle for anything, but settle down for what it is that, um, you feel, you know, passionate about, you know, uh, because, um, Capadonna is part of Wu-Tang too, by the way. So Capadonna is part of Wu-Tang. So, and and he, they're from Staten Island. So some of y'all could be from Staten Island, um, New York as well. Some of y'all may, you know, be like Wu fans for real. So let's get some messages. Let me see. Spirit is telling me to get the tarot cards. So we're going to get the melanated deck here. And I pulled a couple of cards from another deck. Let me put these back in to the deck. Give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. And then we're going to wrap it up, beloveds. We got the Wheel of Fortune here on the bottom of the deck. So, so there's a turning point. Something is turning in your favor, I definitely feel something that's destined to be in your life is coming. I'm hearing a destiny type of love. I'm also feeling like, you know, the wheels are turning now. Whatever was delayed or blocked, now it's turning, you know, and I feel like it has a lot to do with you, you know, being in your power. You know, your independence, like I said, is the foundation for your stability and your security. And this is just speaking to like blessings and opportunities that you are due, you know, that are now coming in. And there goes the Queen of Cups energy. So it's almost like you're anticipating this as well. You've been calling this in. I see a lot of angels on her throne. So I do feel like, as I said, you're very protected. You could also be protecting yourself and, and just um, in matters of the heart, like not really as open to love. She's kind of looking at that chalice with her head down. Her body language just shows that there's some sadness, but she's still a queen, you know? Look at that. So this is what's a, the turning point, partnerships. 
alliances. This is the lovers that I was speaking to. Remember I mentioned that number six earlier with the lovers and with there we have it. There's an angel overseeing that and I kept getting the feeling or the notion that you had angels uh, that were aligning you with someone that is your divine purpose uh, um, person, pardon me. And there goes the strength card. This is what you've been doing. You've been learning to muster up your own strength, lean in your strength, own your power. You know, you're taking control and onus of your own actions, you know, taking control of your own subconscious thoughts. And we have uh, Marvin Gaye. This is called Mr. Magic. So some of you all do have someone who is, um, look at this. Some of y'all could have someone doing some love spells or some someone could be really, you know, suffering in silence, waking up during, you know, um, you know, having night tremors or someone could be doing some magic on a mister. You know, someone could be stuck in some sort of uh, toxic relationship with someone. This nine of swords always makes me feel like someone waking up during witching hours. You know, this is like, you know, a heavy mind. Remember what I was talking about earlier about ruminating and pining, even if this is your energy, Scorpios. I see you making a decision to leave, you know, to leave something behind. This is a decision. This is you choosing wisely. You know, remember I was also picking up like planning a trip, you know, taking a vacay. So maybe you're manifesting something different. Uh, some different outcome perhaps or someone could be doing that for you so let's cut this deck we're going to clarify it and then we're going to wrap it up ah shay let's see what we got coming in going out going on for my beloved scorpios just get one more cut <laughs> i be anal like that sometimes i just be wanting to just one more game Look at that. Nine of swords. After all that cutting, nine of swords is still there. So that's what the individuality is all about. Somebody was stressing another person. Remember what I said about the codependency and how toxic it can be, you know, and this is someone needing to sort through that. Someone could be, you know, maybe in their fields because you have separated yourself from this energy. And this is someone that, you know, not only were you codependent on them, but they were codependent on you. Two codependent people is is that just leads to unhappiness and stress you know and so that's what someone is doing now they're just kind of stressing over perhaps the facts that you're you know maybe you're single you're enjoying your singlehood you know um with mr magic maybe somebody really could have been doing some sort of spell work domination spells or somebody could be under some sort of spell maybe someone like i said is waking up during witching hours because maybe they're having night tremors maybe if this is that player energy you know that was you know kind of creeping and sleeping with everyone maybe now they're dealing with you know the effects of that you know um just sleeping around fornicating with different folks you don't realize those are soul ties you so you have all these people that you're tied to that are literally like this is like torturous you know and all someone wants and desires is you you know i want to get one more card just to clarify we have on the bottom of the deck the wheel of fortune yet again all that shuffling and cutting and the same two cards keep showing so this is someone that does feel like you de you're their destiny or this is a destiny type of love or someone that is, you know, wanting something to turn around. I definitely feel someone had received karma. Absolutely. So look at that. Now we got the eight of swords. So they're slowly but surely coming out of this space of confusion. Went from the nine to the eight, but this is still self-imposed mental anguish. This is someone that just, you know, I feel like my, when my throat is getting blocked, someone that doesn't know how to really emote or express themselves. You know, and so they really need to express themselves. If someone has dealt with a witch or a warlock that's been doing spells on them, this is what's making them feel bound and stuck, you know, and with this individuality, um, that's the reason why it's like they're, they're thinking of you. I feel like you've separated yourself and, and released that energy um, and someone that they could have gotten entangled with um, definitely could be doing some sort of um, root work on them or, you know, some sort of magic because we got Marvin Gaye, Mr. Magic. Um, that's not even Marvin Gaye. I'm over here lying. This is, <laughs> he looked like Marvin Gaye. This is Grover Washington. Pardon me. So someone's name could be Grover Washington. Someone can be from DC, Washington, DC, Seattle, Washington. Um, 
but he looked like from the first glance it looked like Marvin Gaye but Mr. Magic is definitely telling me somebody has someone doing some uh, spell work on their ass you know they waking up with night tremors you know they're waking up during witching hours someone's just you know manipulating their energy um, we got this Queen of Wands sitting here. She's definitely could be the culprit behind this um, because, she, you know, she and this black cat, this is telling you trust your intuition. Remember, we had intuition on the bottom of the deck. So someone is really, you know, perhaps starting to pick up on certain things. So let's see, why is this 44 environment here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? We got the Knight of Wands. What did I say about a player in and out, non-committal? That's that energy. And they got caught up. This is why you you can't be out here playing with everybody. And you can't be playing inside everybody. You know, because people don't realize that is a soul tie. Whoever you lay with, you are you have that person's energy on you for life. Like, And that's why you can't just be out here just hitting and quitting. Like, you can't do that. It, 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 you'll be right here. This is where you'll be. Because that's what that energy does. You know, it, it, it binds your ass. It's crazy. So look what we have. We got the Knight of Cups. So look at this. This is what you're attracting to. You wish fulfillment. Look at that eight. Didn't I say that eight really gives me the star energy? And then you have judgment. What did I say about someone getting their wake-up call? You know, they're getting karma. This is karma. Someone is paying for their karma. They're paying for things they've done in the past. They've had a wake-up call as to who you are, what you mean to them, how this connection feels, and this is how they see you. This Nine of Cups is really about self-love. This is someone, you see how he's holding his, um, he has his arms crossed across his heart, uh, which means that he's not open to love. You know, he's, he's loving himself. You know, this is selfish love and me, myself, and I. I call this the De La Soul card because that's what they're doing. Me, myself, and I. That's all he's worried about. And that's why he's so happy. That's what the self-love, that's why that came out as well. Because this is what self-love is. Self-love makes you more attractive. So that's why that person is sitting here agonizing because this is what you're doing. You're the one now that can make the judgment call. This is who or what you're attracting to you. You're attracting judgment. You're attracting something positive. Because you knew your worth. You didn't sit around and get treated like, you know, um, a second option or a fifth wheel. You chose to walk away. And you chose to rebuild and establish your own sense of independence. And this player got stuck getting played because how you meet somebody is how you lose them. You know, but more importantly, when you get, when you lay with a succubus or incubus energy, that, that shit, that ish is like, it's, like I said, it's binding. And look where they at. <laughs> the nine of swords, the eight of swords, that's up in their head. That's mind uckery, you know, and that's the devil's playground. That's what the devil does. Gets you stuck. It entangles you in nonsense. It puppet masters all kind of chaos in your life. It speaks with a forked tongue. It doesn't mean nothing it says. It's deceitful. It's dishonest. It's jealous. It's envious. All those negative things. And, and you're sitting here looking like a wish fulfillment now because you brought nothing but peace and love and happiness and joy and balance into someone's life while they were sitting here, you know, unable to make a decision. But someone is rushing towards you because now they are being told follow your dreams because what they're living right now this looks like a nightmare beloved <laughs> that's a nightmare that's not a dream so let's tap in so why is this 85 follow your dream here uh for how this person scorpios are attracted and feel about them let me get a message look at that look at the sun sun is always showing up when you come into the picture this is what you are vitality your strength you're luminous you're wise you're happy you bring joy you bring love you're nurturing you're caring two of swords this is what they are stuck they stuck they're stuck trying to make this decision. And part of it is because they don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. <laughs> they don't know how to express what they feel, you know. And a part of that also has to do with the fact that, you know, whoever is doing these spells on them, these love spells or whatever, it has them feeling confused, you know. So they are confusing this person's energy through manipulating them with magic, as we just saw with Mr. Magic. Uh, we have Alice Coltrane, and the name of this is, I don't even know. So maybe some of y'all are dealing with someone named Alice or Coltrane. I know Coltrane, I was thinking of John Coltrane. Um, he's a jazz musician. But um, Alice Coltrane, this is Turia and Ramamark, Ramark, I don't know. I can't, don't get me to lying. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> you know, it, it looks like it could be either African or Hindu language. I don't know. But um, that's Alice Coltrane. So I believe she's an, a jazz artist. 
Uh, someone could be dealing with someone named Alice. But yeah, they're confused. They're trying to make a decision, trying to choose wisely. They could also be stuck in two minds, like I said. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone that really wants to invest. This is someone that feels unfulfilled. You know, they really feel unfulfilled. They feel like, you know, you just bring or brought so much joy, you know, and they also feel like they left you kind of out there uh, because this seven of pentacles just shows like this is what you've been able to accumulate on your own, you know, independent of them. You know, if this is someone, you know, you know, even if this isn't someone, you know, this is how they feel, you know, about perhaps the relationship that they're in. Um, but they feel like, you know, you would be, you know, a very uh, good investment. Like this connection definitely could blossom. You know, this can blossom. It can bloom into something beautiful. There goes the Ten of Cups. See that? So this like they're willing to put in the work now, you know, where they was running away, trying to act like, nah, I ain't got time for for relationships. Now it's like this is what they want. Now this this is all they dream about. You know, they feel like, you know, perhaps unfulfilled wherever they are, but they're wishing, praying, hoping, and, you know, that something can materialize, uh, perhaps trying to plan, strategize how to come toward you or how to spark that conversation. Um, the sun is here. So this is what they see, you know, that maybe they get that aha moment, that epiphany, you know, maybe something clicks where they can, you know, spark this connection again or spark the communication. Even if this isn't someone you were in a relationship with, maybe this is someone you knew from the past and you lost contact. Maybe this is someone you've dated in the past and you lost contact. Someone wants to spark that again. They want to, you know, rekindle because they realize you brought happiness without you. They're sad. It's like this, this loss, you know, this sadness, this gloominess in their life. And they want to bring back that that happiness, that joy. So why is the 16 rebirth here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Why is the thank you spirit we have on the bottom of the deck, six of wands, someone is taking action. They're coming in. They're leaving something that is very, like, burdensome behind. This is a, a conscious effort. They're going to find peace, salvation. This could even represent you. But this is someone that is leaving something behind, moving. We got the seven of, of cups here. So there is, you know, someone that does have a decision to make and they have to be mindful, you know, that, you know, everything that glitters is in gold, you know, everything that are in these chalices aren't good options. So that's why spirit was reminding you to use your intuition. If you look, there's a cloud of, of smoke that are, you know, that's displaying all of these options. So don't get caught up in the rapture. Um, choose wisely. Use your intuition. The 16 breaks down to seven. That's associated with your crown chakra. Because whatever you choose, it's going to come in quickly. Because that seven also deals with the chariot. It's about asserting yourself. It's being confident about your decisions. But I also feel like you have, you're going to have your pick, um, your choice of whatever it is you want. Um, and I also see, like I said, travel, movement, relocation. Some of y'all could be relocating. But I definitely feel like wherever you've moved to or wherever you, wherever you're moving to, um, that is going to be like your um it's gonna be your salvation. It's like it's gonna be your new sanctuary. It's like a sacred space you're you're creating for yourself. So why is the 61 self-love, 81 leadership here for my beloved Scorpios for the outcome? Okay, this card got bent to sh goodness. And that's the tower. I want to finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, the queen of swords. So this is powerful. Look how bent this card got. So this is what's happening. There's something. The towers always denote an ending. People get scared when they see the towers. Not I. I, I get very excited when I see the tower. Because that means that something that was very toxic, it's being destroyed so it, you can rebuild you know, it's about destroying and rebuilding. So any lies, any illusions, this could be in relation to whomever you're attracting. Because remember, that person is very anguished. Even if that's you stuck in your head, I feel something is going to come to a head. And whatever was was in lost in translation, whatever was hidden from you, it's coming to light. It's coming out. The truth is going to come out. And the only thing you can do from this after this tower is destroyed is you rebuild. You know, and when you rebuild, you're going to rebuild from what? A solid foundation that is full with self-love and you taking onus and accountability and taking leadership of your life, of your the direction you're going in your life. Because you can no longer live in this type of illusion, you know, and this Queen of Swords shows that. 
This is what you're emerging as. The Queen of Cups always, you know, when you go through a transformation or when you go through some sort of startling metamorphosis, you always transform into a Queen of Swords uh, because that Queen of Swords now uses logic over emotion. Um, you know, typically Scorpios are very emotional and they're very, um, you know, they, they, they will, you know, they wear their heart in their sleeve. They'll give you the shirt off their back. But when you get played for Booba the Fool or you get deceived or betrayed in any type of way, this is who you emerge as. And this is a no, she don't play no game. She don't take no shorts. She will cut your ass off and not ask any questions later. She don't care to ask questions. So this is that energy of like, do not insult her intelligence, gents, especially if she's giving you an opportunity. She's like, okay, come here. You got something to say? Come on. She's willing to hear you out. But if you, if you come in and, and you start stuttering and sounding crazy, she chopping you off for life, forever, you know? So let's get one more card because I feel compelled to get one more card. Wow, that card just flew up. Wow, there goes the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so that Queen of Cups in your energy, you got the Page of Swords. I told you you had an eye spy. This is somebody watching you, trying to, trying to like I said, trying to, trying to muster up the courage. This is someone who's really heartbroken. That's that same person that's really heartbroken and you know, feeling, feeling this emotional loss in your absence. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of swords, five of wands. Look at all this chaos, competition. You know, this is who, you know, people had in their ear, whether this is you having all these like the dun -da dunce giving you advice that they should be taking on. It's just like, nah, you, this, this is why you have to trust your own intuition that somebody's going into hermit mode to really assess. You see that star inside of the lantern. That's where this person discovers that they need to follow their dream. You know, you're the dream. That could even be you, you know, realizing I need to go after what I want and not be dealing with this kind of nonsense with this. I, you know, my home doesn't provide peace, you know, four cups. This is someone who was being handed a beautiful ace of cups. And look how they, they're treating it. Like, eh, I, I could get something better because they got all these options. They got distracted by options. And this is the move. See, so someone is finally coming to their senses. They're realizing, you know, because this is like, dang, you know, that's the one that got away. Finally seeing things after the fact. Like, you know, they listen to the wrong people, number one. And that's why they're removing themselves from those relationships and going within to find the answers. And what they discover is, you know, that this is, this is the star. This is what always made them feel most happy. That could even be you just, you know, kind of taking control and taking the reins of your life back from, you know, dealing with that codependency and, you know, dealing with secret competition or dealing with people who were, you know, had ulterior motives or people who were just, you know, kind of like, this is like the blind leading the blind also, you know, that's why it's very important to be mindful who you're getting advice from because everybody um, that has a mouth shouldn't open it to give anyone else advice, especially if you can't see it translate in their own lives. Like how you giving advice and you still stuck, you know, on stupid, you know, no diss, but I mean, come on. So you got to be very mindful. Consider the source is what I'm getting. But um, there goes that three of wands I was speaking to. So this three of wands, you know, so this is a beautiful reading. I just feel like, you know, I kept hearing, trust your intuition, trust your intuition. But I see clearly that you're not playing. <laughs> you, you're not playing. And everyone around you knows that. I feel like you're definitely coming into um, something very special. Like it's a beautiful, special bond or connection. I feel like your business is going to be booming. I feel like money is going to be flourishing. But I also feel because that wheel of fortune kept showing that there's a turning point in your life positively you know um there's love there's love coming in and this is all got to, it all has to do with you know the growth your growth it has to do with your your transformation um but this is a beautiful reading my beautiful scorpios if you found that the messages resonated please be kind like share subscribe uh definitely check out my etsy shop if you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation with me um and peruse peruse the shop see what you can get there but thank you so much for tuning and tapping in we got flowetry say yes so if someone does come in and asks um, you know, if they can have a conversation or if you want to go out to a bite to eat, spirit is saying, say yes. Ashe. Some of y'all could be from the United Kingdom. That's where Flowetry is originally from. I know they relocated to Philadelphia. So maybe some of y'all live from, um, in Philly as well, but this is your reading. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in until next time. Peace.